In this segment, I'm just looking at the packaging of the Digilent Analog Discovery 3 and its uh, add-on connector card. So it's a very nice package, but I'm not sure I like the, uh, the robustness of this connector. It's um, it's not something that you you would uh, expect to survive very much rugged treatment. So I wanted to package this in a way that would uh, solidify that connection and make sure that it's not too um, stressed. Now the standoffs that came with the uh, add-on card here are a little bit long and when they are installed on a flat surface like this they actually tilt the card up a bit um, because they're too long. So what I did was I designed a, a chassis for it to hold the whole apparatus and I put on some nice rubber feet which are um, non-slip so the device just slides into this chassis so it stabilizes everything and you can still see all the labeling but of course that's not completely robust yet so what I did was I made a lid that goes on top here and it just screws in so I've got four screws holding it together Okay, so that's now a very solid um, instrument and I've left that gap in the bottom so we can actually read the, um, the model number labels and so on. It still has great access to the uh, BNC ports, uh, I didn't cover them up. I have some slots in the top here so that we can access the, the jumpers that uh, control whether it's uh, uh, AC coupled and so on and I've got these labels on the front for the channel number 1 and 2, the input channels and the waveform generator channels 1 and 2 and this lid also clamps the uh, the digilent so that it can't come out and down here on the connector side um, I've got a shroud around the connector so that it can't touch random metal objects and short any of the pins out and it also uh, protects the pins from being bent and uh, bumped so that uh, it's not going to touch anything when you're just uh, um, resting it up against something. So that's a very nice package and it just uh, really um, turns this into a solid instrument as opposed to uh, just a, a kludge of add-on components. The feet also raise up the uh, the BNC so that there there's lots of room to get your finger under here and add a, a BNC connector onto it. Um, before you'd always be lifting it up, torquing the the connection and and trying to get the uh, the heavy BNC's on here. Now it's it's really nice. So an, a, a little side project, but really something that's going to turn this into a much more useful and robust uh, system. So this packaging exercise also frees up the box that the device came in to hold all the uh, cables and and uh, probes that came with it and of course I actually bought um, a BNC adapter before I knew that one was included in the kit but we have the scope probes and and the uh, the digital input probes for the uh, logic analyzer 
and they fit nicely into the case so the uh, device itself sort of fits in the case except that now it's a bit high so it doesn't need a case anymore it's got its own case so turning it into a very useful instrument 